Welcome to the Leadership Purpose with Robin podcast. I'm your host, Robin L. Owens, PhD. And this is where we dive in each week to give advice, tools, and tips for high achieving women leaders. And we talk about leadership purpose and its importance for you. I am a college professor, and when I am not doing that, I am speaking, writing, coaching, mentoring, and teaching high achieving women leaders how to find, and not only find, but how to stay in alignment with their leadership purpose so they can make a meaningful difference right there in their career, leadership, or business. Okay, let's dive in. Hi, everyone. It's Robin Owens. I'm back again. And today I am here with Erin Sum. She is a confidence coach, and I know that she is absolutely amazing in the work that she does because her heart and soul is committed to helping women and probably a few good men with their confidence. <laughs> so welcome, Erin. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Thanks for having me. And tell us a little more. I, get, I gave a, a bit of an introduction, but maybe you can tell us a little more about who you are and what you do. Yeah, absolutely. So I am a confidence coach, like you said, for women, um, entrepreneurs and professionals mostly, but I really help them to see what's blocking them, what their limiting beliefs and fears are, where they might feel unworthy. So if they're maybe feeling unworthy around receiving money or love or something like that, and I really help them to see those things and then to shift them, empower them to create new beliefs confident and bold and they can have everything that they want in their business and their life and relationships. That's important work because I believe confidence is at the base of what everything we're trying to do, right? Everything we want to do, confidence is there. Mm -hmm. And it comes and goes no matter like if we might be confident in one area, but in other areas of life and work, we might not be. So I think that's very important work that you're doing. Thank you. Yeah. And and when I say confidence too, I'm talking about like that deep, self-love, that deep worth, not just like, hey, I'm confident on the outside, right? <laughs> I know I, I know a lot of women who look confident and act confident on the outside, but on the inside, they're second guessing themselves, they're constantly overthinking, they're beating themselves up. And so I'm talking about like that really deep love and, and worth and things like that. Yeah. And it sounds like you're very passionate about your work. Tell us what you enjoy most about your work and then tell us why. Well, I, I really love when I can have a conversation with a woman or, you know, when I have a client for a while and I see them make that shift from not believing in themselves, not feeling really worthy of what they want, um, being afraid to speak up or ask for what they want, all those things that they need to be able to do to get to where they want to go. I love seeing them just all of a sudden, they're just, they start opening up and they, they brighten and they, they have this confidence about them and this belief in themselves that they didn't have before. And their, their faces literally change. I, um, last year I did my first retreat and in two days, the ladies looked different. We literally, we took pictures of their faces right when they got there and before they left at the end and they look different. Wow. So that wow. just makes me like so yeah. excited, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. So you could actually physically see mm-hmm. the evidence of the transformation on their face because their yeah. faces look different. Yeah, their eyes were brighter and shined, their their smiles were more genuine and, and bigger, you know, it just was it's different. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. That transformation sounds like it's amazing. All right. So this conversation hopefully will reach out to many women and most of them are what I consider to be high achieving, Mm -hmm. right? They're ambitious, have goals and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So from your experience in your work and expertise, what's a helpful hint or tip you would give to high achieving women, whether they're in leadership roles or not, or they assume a leadership role, just something from your expertise, what, what kind of tip could you share with them? Yeah, well, one thing, so if, if they're in leadership for themselves, like their own business, definitely having a big vision of what they want, be really clear on what they want to create in their life and their business, because we're going to have failures, we're going to have setbacks, we're going to have things that knock us off, we're going to have pandemics, apparently. <laughs> so when we have these things that knock us off course, when you have that big vision, it's going to help you to keep moving forward, to pick yourself back up and keep going. That's one thing for sure. And just looking at like, Why are you amazing? Knowing why you're amazing and why you're worthy and deserving of everything that you want. Why you're amazing. Yeah, I love that. I love that because it assumes you're amazing and we are, 
right? We, yes, yeah. every, yeah. everyone is, yeah. My work is around and has to do with leadership purpose, right? Mm-hmm. And so when you hear that term, leadership purpose, what comes to mind? That's a good question. So I think having purpose in your leadership. So what is, what is your purpose in your leadership? What are you here to do? Why are you a leader? You know, who are you here to help? And what are you here to lead them to? I think that's important knowing, you know, a lot of people say, I don't know what my purpose is, right? So knowing what that is and then being able to step into that confidently and boldly to help those, those people that you're leading. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. And uh, you're right. Again, confidence is key. Yeah. I agree wholeheartedly with that. Yeah. And you kind of implied this when you just mentioned that, but do you think having a leadership purpose is important? And if so, why? Yeah. So you want to know what your purpose is. You want to know what your purpose as a leader is, because if not, you're going to flail around, I think, you know, so it's important to know what that purpose is as a leader, what your purpose is, to be passionate about it. You know, if you're not passionate about what you're doing, it's going to be really hard to create the success, to create the impact, to keep going forward every day when there's struggles, when there's things coming up that are not going in your your way, right? Yeah, <laughs> Which happens. Yeah. So knowing that purpose is really important. Yeah, we need to have something to help us keep going, a sense of resilience, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, that is great. Well, this is this is the end of our conversation and the questions I have for you. But is there anything else you'd just like to share with our listeners and whoever's watching today? Mm, let's see. So I always say, you know, you're you're enough just as you are. Mm. Well, oftentimes we'll say like, well, I can't have that yet because I don't know enough or I'm or I'm not smart enough or, you know, and th- we, we work ourselves up into this. I can't because um, and it comes down to not enough. So I always say like you are enough no matter what right now. And of course, there's always growth to be done. It's always a journey of growth, but there is no, I have arrived or I'll be enough when you are enough now, just as you are. So just know that you are enough. I love that. I love that. Now, if people want to hear more about what you do or to get in contact with you, how can they reach you? Yeah. So they can go to my website, erinsum.com. I also have a Facebook group. It's Confident Woman Community with Erin Sum. And that's just confidentwomancommunity.com as well. That will take you right to the Facebook group. Okay, that sounds wonderful. All right, tell us once again, so we can make sure everybody, if they didn't catch it the first time, they can catch it now. (laughs) Yes, my website is erinsum.com. And the Facebook group is Confident Woman Community with Aaron Sum. Make sure it has that Aaron Sum on there because there are a couple others out there. But if you just type in, you know, in your browser, confidentwomancommunity.com, you'll find my group. Excellent. I know, I know from firsthand experience, it's a transformational group. And mm, so thanks. I appreciate you, Aaron, and all the work that you're doing. I mean, you're helping lots of people and you're doing it with a sincere heart. And thank that's you. the thing in an authentic spirit. And so I appreciate just knowing you and thank you for taking time out of your busy day and schedule. Thanks for having me, Robin. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Take care. Bye, everybody. Thank you for tuning into this episode of the Leadership Purpose with Robin podcast. If you enjoyed it, head on over and rate and subscribe so you never miss an episode. New episodes drop every week and I can't wait to hang out with you again soon. Meanwhile, this is Robin signing off. See you next time.